Hi friends. I'm going to put together um, my metal detector. Now again, this has been put together before, so it was just disassembled and put away in the box. Um, what I have is this, um, because I am going to probably need to reference this. Um, I'm really, I guess, <laughs> very, very inexperienced. We did some poking around in the backyard and ended up finding a big piece of fence part that had been buried some years ago by the previous owners. You know, I don't know if they buried it on purpose, so maybe that's a poor choice of words, but anyhow, it was buried, so I guess that's pretty fitting. Um, so I have these two pieces that are going to fit together um, to make the pole long. Um, this will be the base. This will be the base. You can see everything. I realize my shadow. I'm, it's in the sun, so let's see. This will be the base. This will be the part that is speaking. Um, of course my headset because I'm going to wear that. I've got the batteries on the charger. This takes, as you see right here, four double A. Uh, they're in the house on the charger so I'm going to put those in in just a moment once I make sure they have enough of charge to help us. Uh, oops, looks like I'm going to need to get the other adapter. I know right where that is as well because this is not going to fit there, so I've got to get that other piece to put that there so that I can use the headset um, just to make it easier for me, I think, to hear. And then this will go into there, and then it'll be one big long piece. Um, with the display, um, we have mode, all metal, jewelry, custom, relics, coins. That was along here, and then up here along the top, iron foil, gold, bronze. Um, and silver. Um, maybe that means the denomination of the coins that are picked up. I'm sorry, I just really have a short attention span for reading directions. I kind of just like to jump in and learn it. So, but that's oh, that might be an old pop tab. Do you folks remember those old-fashioned pop tabs? Maybe from the 80s. Uh, here is a glass bottle top. You remember those? Um, and then it also identifies what the item might be made of, so that's kind of helpful too. Um, coin depth, 2 inches, 4 inches, 6 inches, 8 plus. And sensitivity, we'll be able to set some of the different sensitivity levels. Um, of course, power, pinpoint, and eliminate, mode, and discriminate, so maybe eliminate. Say if I said I want to eliminate all those pop tabs, when it gives me that particular signal, I can eliminate it, and in the future, it will not tell me that it's there. Um, so I'm going to go grab the batteries and assemble that, and assemble the whole piece. And I've already picked up a piece of junk there, so let me get that up. Okay, um, and we'll be back shortly, folks. Hold on. Okay, we're back. I've assembled. Let's see here. And then what I have here is just a simple garden trowel, and then I have a little three-prong garden tool. Um, now, I guess just to give you probably a word of advice, I know in my particular community um, it's illegal to dig without first calling to have your yard mapped out for pipes and things like that. I don't know how far you can dig. I don't know if they're talking about a fence post or, you know, of course you can dig and plant some flowers without having to call first. But my husband and I have already had our yard mapped for uh, something else, so I know that there is nothing in my backyard that should interfere uh, with uh, me being able to dig. Um, so that's just something you're going to want to be mindful of. Uh, private property might be another thing. Um, if you're on private property, you're probably going to want to make sure you have permission. Um, I'm just going to do this in my yard today. Honestly, we've only done it a little bit here, but I just this is just to try in because again, I've, I I think I've only done this once. I just want to familiarize myself with uh, this. Uh, the sounds that it might make and I'm going to share those with you as well. If I hear something I have the headset on but I'm going to try and get that to come through the mic of the camera so that you can hear it and maybe even help me identify it because you might have more experience than me. <laughs> so if not it can be a learning experience together. So maybe we'll find something today. Wish us luck because again I do have my little tools here ready to dig a little bit. So uh, here we go. I'm just going to leave that there, leave that there. And I'm going to hook this 
Let's see, it's got this. I got little ants everywhere. Let's see. See, this just hooks on my arm. As you can see, it just hooks on my arm and I grasp it right there. I'll turn it on and away we'll go and I'll record when I find something juicy. Be back. Okay, I'm back and it's only been just a moment. As I was about to begin, see, I've, I've got this thing set at the longest setting possible. I, I'm about five. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to move a moment. I'm picking up something that I will show you in just a moment. But uh, see, as you see, I'm about 5'4", and this thing's just really very long. Ugh. Sorry, I'm caught. I promise I'll get better at videotaping, too. So I'm just going to try and do this. I'm going to adjust it quick so it's not, I don't have to extend it way out like this. Okay, be back soon. <coughs> okay, there we are. Just shortened it by like two prongs. I can't shorten it up here because the two are connected right there at the base, as you can see. So I just shortened it by two right there, and that's probably a little bit more accurate. So now we are going to begin to walk forward. I want you to watch that display. All right, it's still reading something, so we're going to walk away till that's clear. Reset. Here we go. Okay. If you can see that, I'm going to try and get that in the shadow. Here are the different things that it's going to be set to look for. Nickels, one cent, ten cent, twenty-five cent, fifty cent, and dollar piece coins. Uh, we did, again, we did use it, so maybe we disregarded those two fields: uh, the pop tabs and the pop bottle caps. And um, we've got it set on high sensitivity, um, and the battery charge is full. So we are going to go because I, I know where there is something it's already picking up. So we're going to head back this way. And then as soon as I hear it, I'm going to let you... Well, it didn't pick it up. But I was hoping we were going to get... That's a hummingbird feeder. Okay. Since it didn't pick up, I'm going to shut you off again. And we'll get back just as soon as I hear something. Now you'll notice that I'm just taking small steps because I want to you know, kind of give it a uh, time to pick up. And I'm just going to kind of make sweeping small motions. And I'm just going to go the path that I might do, I guess, while I'm mowing the yard. So I will be back when I find something, folks. Wish me luck. Bye. Hello. We are already back. So um, I know the display doesn't quite show it right now, but we were getting a reading. So I'm going to take a step backwards and then go forward a second just so we can read it on the display here. Okay, taking a step back. Slowly move. Okay, did you see that? Right now the two inches, four inches, six inches, and eight plus were lit up. They've already disappeared now. That was over here. So I'm going to do it again just so you can see it. Slowly Okay. So there it's flashing between six and eight. Okay. Now I'm going to pause you just a moment. Okay, folks, now here is a tough decision. Remember, we were floating anywhere between 6 and 8, 6 and 8. 
Um, some of these were flipping back and forth between each other too, like the iron foil would come on and, and different things in the display would light up. Um, maybe there are a couple things buried, um, but I guess my, I guess the thing I wanted to mention here is how far do you want to dig? Six inches to eight inches plus, I'm kind of in my backyard. <laughs> So I, uh, I don't want to do that. Um, so I guess I would have to say today is kind of a bust. Um, we'll continue to do the rest of the yard um, on another day, and hopefully we can find some. You know, two to four inches I'm probably okay with, but you know that eight, eight inches. Definitely, I have to say I really agree with uh, the purchase that I've made of this because if something is that deep and it's picking it up like we saw on the indicator, that's honestly just fantastic so um, you know what I'm not going to completely rule it out I've got a mental note of where that item was and if I just can't find anything else in my backyard before reaching out into other parts uh, of the country um, I'll go back for it and we'll see what we can dig up but uh, for day one I guess I'm calling it uh, I'm chicken and maybe rest on my laurels and come back another day and find something something else so we will talk again on another day Thanks. Bye.